How much money have I lost buying silver? Buying silver is practically for me a hedge against inflation, something to preserve my wealth. But a lot of people like to view silver as an investment. So let's look at it as an investment today. Now with every investment, there's always a risk. Some people may say it's a higher risk, some people may say it's a lower risk, but there's a risk nonetheless. So today I wanna to take the time and actually show you guys, each and every one of you, that hey, this is how much money I've actually practically most likely lost in buying silver. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle, where our goal is to help you guys create a better life. And you guys can help out by leaving a subscribe, leaving a comment, leaving a thumbs up. Find me on my social media platform, Urban Lifestyle 1989. And don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys can get future notifications of my future videos. Let's go. Make sure you guys check out uvlives.com so you guys get awesome t-shirts just like this. And also, if you want to help support the channel by buying silver, you guys can do so as well at uvlife.com. Question of the day. Do you guys dare to write down below how much money you guys have lost in silver, whether it be within the past year, within the past two years, past five years, or all your years of stacking? Comment down below. Let me know. If there's anyone you out there, I'm going to see this. I say this all the time, always do your research when buying anything, all right? Any investment, always do your research when doing so. Now, if you come out here and you like, hey, you see the silver game and you feel like there could be some money made into this, then you have it all wrong. I believe that you shouldn't do this. A lot of people are like, hey, you know what? I can get this and sell it at this price and do this and flip it at this price. All right, that's cool. How much experience have you had in this? I mean, if you're gonna get a silver and you're gonna sell silver, especially to how tight this community is, like anybody who knows anything about silver, they're real tight and real hard on their cash. So if you're gonna do that, especially with all the deals, all the competitions out there, if that's your whole goal to make money off silver, then you must be one hell of a salesman and good luck to you. I'm not gonna lie. Now, a good way to manage your risk when buying silver is to actually figure out a way to get it at spot or below spot. Now you can always buy silver with premiums on them, which is the most common way of purchasing gold and silver. But for me, most of my purchases when buying silver is actually a dollar above spot. Those are most of my purchases. If I can find it below that, then I'll take it. Now I do have some higher premium stuff. I purchased the coin for $30 before in the early days. Now those are stuff I'm gonna have to take a loss on. But I've never ever purchased precious metals not knowing what I'm getting myself into, not knowing, hey, there's a potential I can lose money. And to be honest with you, I never went into precious metals saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to make money off this. No, I'm not looking to make money off silver. And this is why the dollar amount I'm gonna say up here doesn't really even matter to me. I always have cash and I always make sure I budget correctly when purchasing silver. Now, of course, on this channel, I talk so much about silver. I talk so much about gold. I talk so much about precious metals that maybe everybody thinks that this is my main thing that I'm trying to do. This is called urban lifestyle, not urban precious metals. Everything that I say behind this camera is basically my opinion. A lot of people may disagree with me. A lot of people may agree with me. But still, they all have their own opinion on what they should do with their life and with their family. Now, I understand that some people may look at me and be like, hey, such and such and such and such, this makes sense. Eli, you make sense on this one. I'm going to adapt this to my trading style, however you may want to see it. But as long as you do your own research and see that that really does make sense for your lifestyle, then okay, that makes sense. A lot of people may say, oh, buy gold. That's the best thing there is. It's better than silver. And a lot of people may say, hey, silver is way better than gold. Or buy silver. That's better than gold. Buy rhodium. Buy platinum. Buy such and such. Buy whatever you think is right for you and your family. But also diversify because you never know what's going to happen. And if you can find a good deal on silver, take it. If you can find a great deal on gold and you have the money, take it. There's nothing wrong with none of that. But Let's get into the main topic. How much money have I lost buying silver? All right, let's go through the numbers. Let's say, now this is not gonna be exact. I can't actually tell you exactly how much because then I have to go through every purchase and my mind is not that good at, at remembering stuff, all right? So let's just say I own roughly around 300 ounces of silver. Let's say the average premium that I've paid on them is about $3 plus, all right? Because I purchased a lot over a dollar and I purchased a lot over $5. Well, not that much, but I'll say, you know, I have some premium stuff, you know. So 300 ounces at the average of $3 per premium is about $900, correct? All right, so that means 
right now with all the purchase of silver I have, if I have 300 ounces, now this is not the exact number, this is just a ballpark number, all right? Average of $3 premium comes up to $900 that I'm in the hole right now because I'm paying extra. Everything that I'm buying on top of the melt price is money I'm just throwing away. And that's how some people may want to see it. I don't feel it that way, but a lot of people may be like, hey, any money you throw into the premium is money that you're just throwing away, okay? So let's say out of that 300, I purchased 100 of them at $17. Back when spot price was at $17 when I first got into precious metals. Prices were at $17, then it dropped, okay? So that's about, let's just say, add an extra dollar to all that. 100 ounces at $17, just add an extra dollar to that. That's $100 per every ounce. So that comes up to from $900 to $1,000, okay? Now I purchased 200 ounces at $14 and right now we all know that silver went up about like what, $15 and something change. Now let's just run that increase up to a dollar that comes up to 200 ounces, that's about $200, which brings up the price to still I am $800 in the hole, correct? All right, so I sold 100 ounces at $20. You know, my urban bars, my urban rounds, I've sold let's say about 100 ounces. Each, each bar has about three ounces in them. Most of them have two. Well, some of them have two, not most of them. But most of them did have three when I sold them. So that's about 100 ounces at $20. That comes up to $16, and that's $4 profit, all right? The prices was at $16, so I get a $4 profit off that. All right, so now that's an additional $400 because I sold about 100 ounces, that's $400. So 400 take away from 800, now I am $400 in the hole, okay? Now, I made about, uh, within the past three months, um, just the revenue, not including before, just within the past three months, 600, over 600, but let's just round it down to 600. $600 within the past three months from ads that's been running on this channel. Just ads, that's not including the, um, what you call it, the super chat, that's not including the shirts, that's not including, well, the server's already added into that, but it's not including the shirts. So we're just gonna add that. That's not even including the donations that I've received, all right? So that's about 200 plus dollars right there. So you take away 600 away from 400, that leaves you positive $200, right? Um, so that means right now at this point, I am $200 on top of the game. I made $200 profit from silver. But then again, $200, that's not nothing, is it? Yeah, it's, it's nothing. But let's really think about it, let's really think about it. I gave away over $200 worth of silver. Just gave it away, doesn't even matter. So let's just say it was $200 exactly, I'm at zero. Not saying this is a good number to be at, but I am at zero. That's how much money that I've made off silver using this ballpark figure number. Of course, I, I believe that I'm probably in the 50s, 100s, 200s, who knows? If I do a deep dive search into my silver, I'm pretty sure I like the numbers up there. But for this model, we're just gonna keep it at zero. What do you do? So I lost, I, I practically didn't gain nothing. I probably lost a little bit extra. Who knows? But my whole point is I'm not buying silver. I am not buying silver. Let me repeat that. I am not buying silver to make money. I'm buying silver for totally different reasons. I have money. All right, that's nothing. I'm buying silver, it's not even, to, to be honest with you, it's not even for the worse or the zombie pockets. I'm not even buying silver for that, all right? One thing that caught my eyes in, back in, let's say, two, three years ago, George Washington, the first president of the United States, he made, he was offered $25,000, $25,000, right? I'm talking about a year salary, right? Yeah, $25,000. That was about, what, two, uh, 300 years ago? That was a long time ago. But at the same time, at the same time, let's take this way here, let's take this way here. At the same time, the current president right now makes $400,000 in salary every year. That's a huge number. I mean, we went from twenty-five dollars to $400,000. That's more than, that's close to a half a million dollars. 25, the first president got, and then throughout all 300 years, throughout all 200 years, it came up to 400,000, okay? But here's what got me into silver. Here's what got me into silver. Let's really think about it right now. Let's think about it. 25, 
thousand dollars back then what he was paid equal to this generation right now is six hundred thousand dollars which means the first president of the united states the very first everything's supposed to get better with time everything got better with time we have computers we have electronics we have tvs we have radio stations i mean dude think about it. there's plenty of people who live probably in this part which was probably part of mexico around this time florida yeah i think it was part of mexico or another country i forgot i'm not sure but around this time the first president we got way better we have there's people that was living around this area or in the United States or the 13 colonies, however they wanted to call it around that time. There was plenty of people who never heard the voice of their own president. There's plenty of people who haven't even seen how the president looked, maybe through drawn pictures, maybe. But there wasn't no form of communication. There wasn't no radio. There wasn't no TV. There wasn't no cell phones. Right now, Donald Trump could say something and I know what he said because I have it on my phone. It's just a notification. Oh, such and such said this. Ah, such and such says that. Oh, can you believe it? He said this. Back then, there was none of that. Back then, has progressed it so much. But right now, the current president don't make as much as the first president of the United States. $25,000, of course, 400000 sounds way better. But $25,000 is the equivalent of... 600,000 in today's money value. All right. Now you may want to research that. Don't take my word for it. This is just something I saw on the news at one point in time when I came up to the conclusion. So I thought to myself, hey, huh, what did they have back then that was so valuable? They had silver back then. So let's say I had $200,000 worth of silver. Or let's just say $25,000 worth of silver. That's the number I was really trying to say. $25,000 worth of silver back then would have been $600,000 worth of silver now. How many ounces would that be? I don't know. You guys let me know. Comment down below. I'm not sure. But that's the reason I was purchasing. Okay. Once I heard that story, that was the whole point of me buying. It wasn't to make money. I didn't care about that. I'm paying the premiums. Yeah, I'm paying $3 premiums. Let's say I pay a little bit more. Now, of course, I want to keep the premiums low. Of course so. But at the same time, let's really think about it. I pay way more of a premium for, for my car. I pay $140 for two cars. A bit cheap, a bit cheap. But that's not even the, like the, the first class. It's not even full coverage. That's just a PIP or whatever it's called. That's just that. Basic coverage, $140. And I haven't gotten into an accident with this company ever since I got the insurance. So what am I paying for? Of course, it'll cover me if anything were to happen. Yeah, that's good. But that's a whole two years that I've been with. No, my, I'm sorry. That's a whole four years I've been with the insurance company and no accident. I saved them that much and however much I gave them every month or for the past four years, that's how much they get to profit off of. But if the day ever comes, if that day ever comes where I get into an accident, I'm covered. Well, I'm not covered. I'm mean. Yeah, if it's my fault, they'll take care of their damage and I'll just have to take care of my damage. But if that day were to come, who knows? I'll be covered. And that's why I pay my insurance for. So when I'm buying gold, I've said this plenty of times on this channel, but for some people, they may not see it or people may see me talk about silver thinking I'm trying to make money off it, but which I'm not. So if you're new, you're watching this, make sure one thing you have to make sure, hey, if you're gonna be buying silver, make sure you buy low premiums, close to spot. All right. If you're new, you're going to be watching this. Now, I'm here to protect myself. I see it as an insurance policy. The same reason I feel like I'm paying insurance for my car for no reason, because I don't get into an accident, but I'm forced to. I feel like, hey, you know what? Let me get an insurance for something else. Like if the economy crashes or like if inflation just goes into hyperinflation or like if, why am I talking like that? I don't know. But if anything happens, I want to cover myself, all right? So if I get into a, if I don't, let's say 10 years pass and I never got into a car crash, I don't really too much focus on the money I've spent on car insurance, unless I overpay for car insurance. Now understand me here, it is not about car insurance at all. This video is about silver, but I'm giving you a metaphor, all right? If I overpay, let's say I'm paying $600 just for car insurance, full coverage, all that and I never, ever, ever 
got into a car crash. And six hundred dollars is a huge chunk of my income. I'm only making a thousand dollars, and I'm paying six hundred dollars a month. That's everything, practically, that I'm putting on insurance. Now, if I'm doing that, then yeah, it's a big deal. I'm gonna tell you guys, listen, I haven't gotten into a car crash in a while, or I never did, so I need some money back. But one hundred and forty dollars, one hundred and forty dollars a month, huh? I spend more than that just doing stupid stuff. Back then, I tried to test, you know, shy away from that now, but. It's for insurance, so I understand that $140. I feel more relieved that I have insurance because trust me, when I did not have insurance, I had to pay $11,000 that I finished paying for last year. Okay? So, point in video. This is insurance. If nothing happens, if nothing happens, let's say we don't get into a zombie cop apocalypse. Let's say stuff doesn't hit the fan let's say silver goes down to zero silver is now worthless am i gonna be like oh hey, god damn man I lost all my money. Hey, go, get, 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 get. no i won't be i'm not why because this was just insurance hey nothing happened it was just insurance policy it was just insurance i never came in here to make money came here for insurance if i never get into a car crash I just keep paying them. But it's good to have it there because if I get into a car crash and I get into an accident and I'm hospitalized, I have insurance. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. The video's over, but the conversation doesn't have to be. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. But thank you guys so much for watching another video for Urban Lifestyle. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up and have a wonderful day. That's why I work.